Dum 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 dum. Hey guys, welcome back. My camera cut off, so I had to do this nope. for the intro. So, guess what we're doing, guys? It's so exciting because we are hunting for John Tunsil's murder. So, site. John Tunsil was a friend of Billy the Kid. Basically, um, I believe if I'm not, if I believe if I'm correct, um, John Tunsil had some horses, and Billy the Kid was hanging around with someone who, a local criminal that was known for stealing horses. So, eventually, I believe this is this leads to their meeting. So, um, Billy the Kid and some you know local criminal tries to steal John Tunsil's horses. So. He's in some jail time. But John Tutsil gives him a chance and says, hey, I'll hire you as a cowboy and gunman. So of course, Billy takes his job and something not so pleasant happens. Sheriff Brady and his posse wanted the property. They wanted to seize the property. When I read it said that, they wanted to seize the property and basically they called for a meeting in the forest. So John Tutsil, I think he may be grown suspicious, but he knew that the government was respectful, or so he thought. So he grabbed Billy the Kid and three of um, other people. I'll go ahead and research that for you guys later. Um, but they kind of hid out. So like, it was just only John Tunsil and Sheriff Brady and his posse. And they killed him. We're right there. So we're looking at the site where they killed him. Now his very death, his murder, caused the Lincoln County War that lasted five days. And this is when, after his murder, Dick Brewer formed the Regulators. Now if you guys wanted to learn more, I'm hoping to do a video on about Billy the Kid and the Regulators soon. But this is really exciting and we're going to see the site. Guys, if you're going on this trail and if you've um, heard... This trail is very bumpy. You have to drive out and it's very bumpy. It's recommended for like a bigger car with like four wheel drive and it is really, really bumpy. So make sure you guys stay safe and keep alert and you can't do the whole trail on the car because it's too bumpy. So once you get to a certain right, that's where we were told, um, we have to actually hike about maybe half a mile to actually see the thing and it's kind of hidden. But there is a clue, and the clues are that um, there are wood stumps that are painted with fake red little arrows. And then, yeah, and then it's very green, and it's like a little trail, so it's definitely, definitely, definitely exciting, and it's a little adventure. So if you guys can visit this part of New Mexico, go ahead, guys. And again, his name is John H. Tunsil, and just look up the murder site, and there should be something that you guys can go ahead and check out. Okay, guys, there's a marker here. So there is markers on trail. We believe this is the trail, guys. That looks like the trail. So we're so excited. It's really, really bumpy, so you definitely can't have a car here, because look how crazy bumpy it is. And make sure to watch your ankles. Okay. We've been looking for this moment, and looking forward to this and it's really really cool definitely I'm gonna try to find those little like stumps good Dave. oh well, and it seems like we have to go this way on this the GPS way. it didn't really show the right direction but on Google Maps on the Google Maps it did show it so that's what helped us so we're gonna try to Okay, so we're looking. This looks about the trail, so we're just gonna keep going. And we're just hoping to really find it. Okay, so here we have our navigator. My mom and my dad is the security because there are wild animals here. New Mexico is very really forestry and it's very, very, very wild. So there's bears, mountain lions, all that type of stuff. So it's a little dangerous. You might need some type of weaponry and you don't get too well a good signal. Just saying. Oh 
Okay guys, this is like confirmation. Okay, so we just found the arrow. So they're very easy to miss. See, it's an arrow, it's very faint. So it's right about where everything starts getting a little crazy. This is how it looks and it's just on the side here. Now we did leave three marbles and if you guys find them, hopefully you guys could find them to see them better. And if you find them, go ahead and tell us in the comments if you visit this place and find the marbles. Why don't you guys leave something too? Okay, we're continuing on the little path and we're gonna tell you if guys if we see any more markers or anything like that make sure you guys are well prepared maybe get some water and proper shoes because it's very 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 rocky around this part it's very rocky okay so we what do you think we're halfway there uh, yeah look so remember guys the gps doesn't really work too well but the Google Maps, if you look on a satellite or something, it works. It shows where it is, and that's what helped guide us. Plus the arrow. What are Plus you going the arrow. And in the beginning, there was that little tree with like the blue little crisscross marks. So that really helped. All the way down there okay right from here with these little rocks right from here you go up here it's still a little trail so that trail I'm pretty sure it will probably bring you a longer way but if you just come up here you start to see a sign that sign basically tells you you did a good job and I believe we just found it I'm so excited okay so you see this tree just cross it remember don't go all the way down there. Come straight there. You can also see it's another. We found it. Guys, we found it! Yay! Oh, it's so cool. Guys, past, go under that or over it. And you see that? Guys, we just found it. Oh my gosh. Fire? People left lots of things. Okay, so I'm sure. We'll leave a bullet for like Billy the Kid and a lot of the other ones. So, um. Whoa, it is so cool. It says. John Tunstall, age 24, killed here, February 1880, 70, oh wait, sorry, 18, 1878, triggering Lincoln's County War. Arrested uh, by somebody. John Tunstall, man, we're a really big fan of him. Mm -hmm. Was that one that we left? Yeah. So, so guys, you open up your little magazine? Mm -hmm. Here's one of Mom's. So we're all leaving. I'll put mom's right A here. little bullet eat. And then. Is that fire's handgun? Go on. The fire's hand. We'll just put yours right here by the S. Actually, between you. No, the S. Perfect. Can we play with the marble? Yeah. And guys, yeah, we're going to leave a, a, big one. a marble because this is kind of. The respect to, but also. Yeah. I'll leave by this rock this right too. To show guys that we're also here. This is really. Awesome. Can you explain how, how he was killed and what happened? Wow, okay. So, as we were saying, guys, he was killed. Um, like um, I was explaining in the car, Sheriff Brady and his posse wanted to seize his property and were basically jealous. So, wow. Once they shot and killed him, they even took his own weapon, his own pistol, and shot him in the back of his head, which was really disrespectful back then especially for people in like government and law that was so disrespectful that he probably would never expect that like the killing of him or anything also as a mockery they basically put him on his horse and made him look like he was sleeping on his horse and took a picture so obviously this started so much rage for the um for billy and his posse Dick Brewer and all of them that they formed the regulators and decided to fight against to avenge John Tunsil. So this is really cool guys. Remember if you guys can really just like visit this. It's not too hard to find. It is a bumpy road so be careful. 
Wow, this is really cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like and subscribe. God bless. Hope you guys are doing a good, um, good in these times. And if you can, visit and be careful. Bye.